we're going to start, I've already cast on some stitches, by just knitting one stitch of the main color. We're going to add our second color, always goes underneath the old color, leaving a piece on the tail to knit in so you don't have to bind it off later. Three, and then one of the main color, and three of the secondary color. We're going to do that until we get to the end of the row, knitting one of the main color and three of the secondary color. Three. We're coming to the end of the row here, knitting one, knitting three, and then we're going to turn the work around. Now on this purl row we're going to do exactly the same. I've just added another main color stitch there for the purposes of this demonstration. It wasn't there before. So we're going to do three of the second color, which is red, one of the main color, which is tan, three red, one tan, the new always goes under the old, three red, three tan, all the way to the end of the row. And our last three stitches are going to be the double stitches where we had knit in the tail. So you're going to knit them as one. That's three. And then the last tan stitch. And then we turn the work around. This next row is going to be exactly the same. One, the main color. Three of the new color. So in other words, the first three rows are exactly the same. Three of the new color, and one of the main color. So you're going to do this till you get to the end of the row, and then when we turn around, we're going to do something different. So on the purl row, we're going to start by doing two of the main color, one red, it's that middle red stitch, and then three of the main color tan. One, two, three. And then again, one, the middle red stitch, and then three of the tan. One, two, three, and one more red, and then three tan all the way across to the end of the row. And again, three tan, one red, and end with two tan. Now when you turn the work around you'll see that we've made a little house. Looks, It's a square with a little roof sticking out and you'll also see and I'm sure you've seen this on every row that your yarn is totally twisted. So what I do is this. I go to some point where it's not so twisted and I just unwind it like this. <laughs> it should be easier than this, but this is about all you can do. So there we have it all untwisted and there is one other way to simplify this and that's to use bobbins but if you don't want to take the time to wind the bobbins then this is what you have to deal with. Now we're just going to knit a couple of rows with the main color, like so. 
and then we'll be ready to start on our next ferrile design which will be another color and another pattern.